it is not just like oh here is a ship let's uh, let's give that a try you know there has to be some serious intelligence that this is a ship which could be in breaking the embargo the key issue which the intel is being based on is arms going in and out of Libya but also mercenaries you do need some time to position the forces and there is not uh, not a ship every mile of the Libyan coast that's undoable there is a lead time so that the uh, potential embargo breakers can be intercepted because the embargo is enforced outside Libya's territorial uh, boundaries This embargo is being forced at sea and in the air off Libya's uh, north coast. Two thirds of the ships which are in this operation will be at sea. They will be in the patrol box, contributing to the surveillance picture. So with all sensors, visual and radar. Within NATO, there is a huge intelligence gathering organization that gets all kinds of information, mainly from what nations give NATO as, a, as its part of intelligence. And also uh, from commercial background, from Coast Guard, from surveillance, it's all, it's all being fused in one big picture. Every ship has an own team made of, of its own ship's company who can do this. This is uh, being drilled um, intensively, it's, it involves its uh, own protection, but also skills to search a ship, skills to secure a bridge, to make sure that no one of the ship's crew uh, disappears, to investigate papers and to spot uh, for uh, irregularities. If intel comes in, then they do their briefings, then they prepare how to get across, because that's also weather dependent. If you get information that a ship might be uh, of interest, might be an embargo break in this case, you get early information so you can position the ship. You brief your own boarding team, which you have on board. Every ship mainly has a boarding capability, most of the time for unopposed boardings, but some ships carry very specialized forces, teams, which can conduct um, opposed boardings. It involved spending uh, lots of time uh, at sea, uh, hailing ships and uh, getting inf information. We've been doing this since the 23rd of March. There are, have been ships which have been continuously on station. In the weeks ahead, you'll see a rotation of ships which have to go into harbour, uh, either to restore um, or for some repairs. There's also refueling uh, at sea. There are. Uh, there are tankers uh, available to provide the ships mainly with fuel. Ships make their own water. The amount of assets in the area well, in the beginning was influenced by the fact that it was an exercise of the Spanish coast, which ended roughly uh, when the operation of Libya was taking shape. Immediately after that exercise ended, the two of the NATO standing maritime groups were directed uh, towards Libya. That was actually quite a seamless transition. The costs lie with nations. Nations carry the costs of the ships and aircraft they provide. Costs to NATO are the uh, Echo 3 Alpha AWACS aircraft which have been allocated to this operation. The amount of assets, the amount of energy and money that uh, NATO and partner countries are putting into this is substantial. And that gives a very clear uh, signal to Libya.